the title for this one is called The Keeper. I honestly don't even remember what the thumbnail looked like. I don't remember what this was even described as. Can't recall. But I want to say it's something suspense or horror or whatever related, that type of thing. I have been wrong about this stuff before. <laughs> I thought Can You Keep a Secret was going to be some sort of suspenseful and it ended up it was like a rom-com trailer. So let's see how wrong or right I am on this one. As long as you are here, you will be put to work to compensate oh. for the suffering caused by the war. We know your soul did, Mr. Troutman. <laughs> Long love in the gold. Not bad, is it? Just like a saver from relegation. This is not about football, Dad. This is German. You can't just ignore that. Mm. To me and everyone round here, you're still the enemy. You play football, keep your dogs shut. What sort of bird is that? It's a walrus. Well, I like can hardly speak. And also, I have a light foot. <laughs> German? Mm. <laughs> you know, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. Oh. Never. Have his goalkeeper. I think you should play some football and everything's forgiven. You've forgotten that you love this guy, me. Instead of going out dancing and doing the same ballerina and doing a bombshell music. No, it's not. I'd rather have dance with you than put on the battlefield. It's not necessarily Whatever his fault. He's football. just a soldier. Football is like a wonderful dance. So many people get Will caught up in awful. Not if you look closely. Do you have a girlfriend? No. No girl at all. Thompson wants me to come to Man City for a trial. I think you're pulling my plunker boot. <laughs> Manchester City goalkeeper, Bert Troutman. Hmm. You were awarded several medals, including the Iron Cross. I need to know the truth. The truth about what? About you. Bert has only learned how to do three things be a soldier and be a footballer. I didn't know I was a soldier. I only know I was a man. There's no war in this dressing room. Hmm. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Oh, so that comes out this spring. Well. So this is a drama, and I'm not really into dramas, but I have to admit, this is, this seems to be a really pretty compelling story, and now I'm really curious to find out about the real uh, people involved in this story. I want to Google it and find out, does, is he going to have a happy ending? Um, this seems like a pretty powerful, pretty, like it's going to be a pretty powerful um, movie. I'm, I'm not sure that it, it will be enough to draw me to the theater unless maybe my folks are interested in it and I take them to go see it. Um, or my son, he's more interested in the type of historical films he's interested in are things that center around action. So he likes like war type historical uh, films. And while this is going to show a bit of that, that's not the main focus of the story. The main focus is his life here on the soccer team and having to integrate with the people, the former enemy, and having to, you know, um, be exposed to a lot of hate, a lot of prejudice, um, you know, bigotry, just because, and that's understandable, you, you know, I can understand that feeling. At the same time, holding him personally responsible for the war in general is such a narrow-minded view of such a complex situation. You know, soldiers get brought into wars, they, they either by force or they choose to for whatever reason, whether it's ideology or whether it's just they, it's the principle of the thing for them. Um, and it's, it's just not something that can be easily, 
labeled. Like you can't, you just can't, I mean people can because they do it, but it's not feasible to put the weight of all of that on the shoulders of the soldiers who are um, fighting other people's battles, basically. And yes, horrific, terrible things happen. Soldiers do have committed um, terrible atrocities, yes. But, you know, war is such a horrific thing to go through and it changes people many times in bad ways and you just don't know the type of situation that you would be in if you're in an environment like that and you do what you, a lot of people do what they have to do to survive, even though that means many times committing or, or committing terrible acts that they would never do otherwise in real normal life. But war is not real normal life. War is war. And it's, it's horrible. And it does terrible things to people outside and in. And so, you know, it, it, I, I remember years ago I watched this movie called Summer of My German Soldier. And that was a really very, very sad movie. I mean, it just that was so sad. I think it was based on a book. I did not read the book, but I saw the movie a few times. And so this kind of made me think about that a little bit, but I have a feeling this is going to have a more uplifting tone to it, which I appreciate. So yeah, I, th that's a very long way of saying I like the trailer and th I'm interested in the story and I will probably watch it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a toss-up as to whether I'll actually go see it in, in the theaters, if it even comes to a theater here. But um, if it does, if I go see it, or if I see it not in the theater, I'll come back here and post some comments about it. And um, all right, you guys, that's it for this one. Bye.